It may not be prepping, but it is incredibly cool. Today, we're taking a look at the world's first smart robotic lawn sweeping mower, the EcoFlow Blade. All right, folks, welcome back. So if you guys were with me at CES, you saw the video I shot of all the new stuff that's coming out. We're going to have a lot of that stuff on this channel. A lot of it is more prepping related. This is probably the only thing that's not exactly prepping related, but it does showcase the cool technology that EcoFlow is using and working on for their products. So this is said to be the world's first autonomous robotic mower that can not only trim the lawn, but sweep up debris afterward, okay? We'll show you the sweeping attachment in a second. I just want to get this a uh, little bit of information on this to you first. This does not need a perimeter wire at all. It detects its surroundings using LiDAR, which is light detection and ranging. The integrated camera on the front, which I will show you here. Let me move it around. Whoop, get up there. This is big and heavy. The integrated camera on the front there, okay? You can see that. This will detect debris such as twigs, leaves. It sweeps them up with the basket. In the integrated collection bin, I'll show you how to attach it and what we have for there. It does have a charging station and it does have a full setup. Now, I don't have grass, all right? I live in the desert, I have a rock. I used to have grass in my front yard, but it really didn't, uh, didn't do well out here in the heat. So what I did was cover the front whole yard with rock and uh, that's kind of where we're at. So I did mow some weeds with this. And I'll tell you this, I have about two to three feet deep of rock out there, and this doesn't like rock. So I'm gonna show you how it works, but I'm not gonna be able to demo the mowing for you because I don't have grass. So that's really my only restriction with this of not being able to show you it mowing. However, when I did take it outside on some of the flatter, less rocky areas, it did mow the weeds on this thing pretty well. And this is a really neat mowing system on the bottom, I'll show you. You can change the height via the app on this. You'll notice it has some suspension looking things there. This will go up or down depending on where you set it. So thanks to that LiDAR sensor on the front, the integrated camera and positioning system, and this is all GPS positioned. We'll show you how we set it up in the backyard. We'll give you a X, X Vision real-time kinetic navigation. That's RTK. So the blade on this thing will work automatically in the areas that have been previously defined. I'm going to show you how to map it as well, because you're going to map your area, and then you're going to map out exclusion zones where you don't want this to go. All right. So even in working areas where there are obstacles, you can avoid them automatically and safely without you having to intervene. This thing will know where your obstacle areas are and where to not go and not go near. Now, the extra large wheels on this allow, the lot of grown, allow, allow this robotic lawnmower to independently overcome uneven surfaces and obstacles from a height of 40 millimeters, okay? There is 4G connectivity to this with an integrated eSIM inside, okay? So it will give you continuous location whenever you want to check on it. Um, once you map this and set it up, you map your area where you want to mow in your backyard or your front yard and you set it up and you set up your exclusion zones once that's done okay this thing will decide when it's time to mow what it needs to do it'll leave the charging base it'll go out mow and come back and we'll show you the charging base too i have it set up in my backyard just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like however because of the rocks, it doesn't work too well out there. And because there's no weeds, it doesn't work too well out there. However, with a regular lawn with dirt, this thing will work awesome. This also, using the LiDAR technology, has small obstacle avoidance, avoidance as well. All right. So with the X-Vision technology, the blade can avoid obstacles quickly by rerouting around them so you'll never get stuck or miss a cut. Now, that's unlike any kind of robotic lawnmower I've seen yet. The unit is fairly heavy, okay? Think of this as a uh, heavy-duty, like, one-eighth RC scale type car. This thing is pretty heavy, and it does have a lot of power behind it. Again, my rocks outside were very, very deep, so it would just kind of get stuck and burrow a hole in it. But these on regular terrain work awesome, and you'll see that. What we're going to do is map out a little spot on my sidewalk in the back, and I'll show you just how you map it out, what the map looks like on the app, and I'll show you the app too. We'll get it all set up for you, and I'll show you how it works. So what we're going to do is take this outside, show you the GPS antenna, the docking station, and the way you set it up in your backyard with your GPS antenna and your docking station and your charging station as well. Remember that this can be an off-grid type of thing too. You can get a uh, EcoFlow power station and it can plug into that and charge up from that too. You stick a solar panel on that power station and you got yourself a complete off-grid mowing system. So it is really, really neat. 
I love the technology in it. You know, I'm a bit of a geek myself. I love technology and I cover some of it in the prepping world. But this is something I think that, you know, you want to take a look at just to understand where they're going with a lot of their technology with EcoFlow. So let's get this outside, get it connected to the app. I will show you the app and we will head on out there and try to map it out, see how it runs. All right, so this is the app. Now he is right outside the door there behind that bag of dirt, that yellow bag of dirt there. This is our unit. It will show up. Make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on. We're going to tap that and connect to it. And we're connected. Now it's going to load a map from my backyard. You see that map? That map is where I mapped out the backyard um, where I could cut. Now I did cut some weeds with it. Again, because of the rocks and the uneven, the very uneven surface out there, I had to kind of give it a little push now and there. But on a flat surface, when the surfaces were flat, this thing kicked butt. It went through everything, no problem, even on the rocks. I did have to keep the blades kind of high because of the rocks. So there's that. But as you can tell right now, I have a yellow icon up there because the GPS signal is not strong because it's far away from where the antenna is in the backyard. So let's get this outside, put it on the charging dock, and I will remap an area just on my sidewalk. Let it run and show you how this All works. All right, we're going to send it out now. Here we go. Now I'm manually controlling this right now just to show you. So that's how it works. You're going to be manually controlling it. So we got it manually controlled. I'm going to take it over to the charging station. I'm going to take you over to the GPS antenna, explain that, and the docking station. All right, I got station. it parked right in front of the docking station. I'm moving it forward. I don't know if you heard that, but it said start charging. So quickly, this is the docking station. You will connect the A1 thing to the power and the A3 to your GPS over there. And it's going to keep telling me it's charging. Let me uh, put my phone in my pocket here and I'll walk you over to the GPS antenna. You'll notice I have two wires down here. Okay, One's running into my power and one's running over to the GPS. Let me move you around over this way quickly. And you can see... There is the GPS antenna, okay? It's very, very simple to assemble. You're simply going to connect that first piece to the top little head there, run the wire down through the empty tube, screw the tube together, and run the wire over to your thing. That's going to allow you to get the GPS signal to map and upload to your phone so you can upload and map everything. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to map a small section here of my walkway because I know that the uh, rock is too thick over here for it to run. And we're gonna try this thing out and see how we get a little map out right. of it. What I've done is I've reset the previous map, okay? So we're gonna create a new map. All right, I'm gonna make sure everything is out of the way. My cat's trying to escape here. And there we go. Okay, checking the signals. We're gonna start mapping. So let me get it outside and we're gonna start mapping the back sidewalk. Okay, mower's backing up on its own, and we are going to start mapping out. As you can see, it does not like the rocks. It definitely does not like these rocks. Then again, if you're mowing a yard, it's going to be dirt and grass. So that's no problem. All right, let's start manually mapping this out here. Back it up a little bit more. And you can see it's getting stuck on the rocks there. All right. Get it over on the ground here, and we will head on out. Okay, there it goes. I'm going to map out this backyard, this back uh, back walkway here, and I'll get back with you when it's all mapped out. All right, so it's backed off the charging station, and by the way, that is the charging station. I'm going to give you a close-up of it. We're going to let this thing start doing the sidewalk area that we mapped, and I'll show you that when we come back. All right, and off it goes. Down the road that way, where we mapped. Let me stop it for a second, show you as it heads down that way on its own. There it goes. Pretty amazing. One thing I did want to cover before we wrap up the video is this guy here. This is your mower sweeper, your catch bag. It'll catch everything up, it'll sweep everything up, all the debris from your mower. And this actually works pretty well. The weeds that I did mow out here filled this bag up nicely, really easy to use. You just basically connect this. I'll show you the connections. You're gonna screw it into a pre-drilled hole that's on the back of the unit. I don't know if you can see it. We'll move the camera over that way so you can see it. And plug in this little connector right here. You can look at the bottom of this. <laughs> 
you can see how it's constructed. I want to make sure I'm in camera there. Yep. So this will just sweep, sweep up anything that's left, any kind of debris, and put it in here. And you can dump this out in a predetermined location. This does come out if you want to clean it out. Very easy to use. Has rubber on the front, so nothing gets stuck. Let me move the camera over there, and I'll show you how I would connect it. All right, so it. on the back here, you'll have that little spot where you can open up. That has a little connector there. You're going to screw this connector into that, okay? I'm going to do that off camera because I have to get down there and actually look to the right direction. But that's how you're going to... Oh, wait, I got it. Never mind. I won't have to do that off camera. <laughs> so you're going to screw that in there nice and tight. And this is all waterproof, so this can sit out in the rain. Another thing I wanted to mention, too, really quick was the front wheels. A lot of people have seen that and said, what the heck? They're, they're pointed in like this. Well, each of those wheels moves. There's a wheel on the wheels themselves. That allows a little more flexibility and a little more uh, navigational kind of skills so it can get around obstacles and stuff like that and make very, very tight turns. That's one thing I really do like about this. It can make very tight turns. When I was mapping out exclusion zones in the backyard here, I was able to do that. So here's your little connector. You're basically just going to stick this over the bar here and screw that down. And that's it. And once that's done, this is your back end. Let me back up a little bit and show you. This will be the whole back end of the mower. So very, very easy to use. Works very, very well. Um, does scoop up pretty much anything there. I don't have it all the way down, but you can kind of get the idea how this works. And you won't have to worry about uh, picking up your debris afterwards. So that's very, very handy. All right, let's get it inside and finish up the video. All right, so there it is, the EcoFlow blade. Unfortunately, I don't have grass to mow, but you got an idea of how it maps, and it went off on its own on that map after I saved the map. I didn't have any exclusion zones because it was just riding on my uh, riding on my sidewalk, but uh, all in all, pretty darn impressive unit. And the technology in this is bound to help us out as preppers with more products that EcoFlow develops in the future. Granted, you're not going to need to mow your lawn in a post-apocalyptic world, but for something like this, it is really, really neat to showcase the technology and the innovative stuff that EcoFlow is coming up with. Okay, now I'm going to have two links since this is available this morning for you to visit. I want you to check it out. You're going to have uh, this one on Amazon and on EcoFlow's site itself, okay? You're going to use my discount code. I have an Iridium 242 EF, which is for EcoFlow. So it's all lowercase, Iridium 242 EF, and that will be down below, to save an extra 5% if you're interested in the unit. You know, we all lead normal lives and our lawns all need to be mowed. So <laughs> that's definitely something to think about. I have two links down below. One's going to be EcoFlow. One's going to be Amazon. So you can definitely check it out. Um, I understand this is going to be a very expensive unit for some of you. And, you know, I understand that. It runs about $28.99. So $2,899. Not going to be cheap, but it's definitely cool if you want to mow your lawn and you don't want to go out there and suffer. When I had a lawn in my front yard, man, I would have loved something like this. Let me tell you, <laughs> especially on those 116 degree days. But uh, we've gone to all rock out here to save water, and uh, that's pretty much the best I can do. It did do very well with the weeds that I had it mow. I just had it manually go over some weeds and do a little bit of that, and it did very, very well. And that collection bin down there did very well as also. So definitely check it out. Um, I will be having much more stuff as the year progresses from EcoFlow. They have a lot of cool new products that do relate to us as preppers that will be coming out very soon. So definitely check out. And if you like the content and you like EcoFlow stuff, definitely subscribe. Check out the stuff that I have coming in the future. Anyway, folks, links will be down below for it on EcoFlow and Amazon. Don't forget to check out my Amazon store. Down there, I have everything that I use in the channel, some of the stuff I reviewed. But if you're not interested in any of that stuff and you just want to click the link and shop as you normally would, we really do appreciate that. Helps us bring you more cool content. Our freeze-dried wholesalers link. That link will save you 15% on your entire order. Click what you want, add it to your cart, go to pay, and there will be the discount at the end. Just follow the link for 15% off. Our My Patriot Supply link, that's preparewithiridium.com. We've had an overwhelming response this month. They're still able to keep up with it. So if you go to preparewithiridium.com, I have that three-month kit, and that seems to be our hottest seller. Three-month kit, $200 off. If you're just getting started in prepping and you want a good foundation of food, that's an excellent way to go. And you get 200 bucks off. Below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Definitely check it out as well as our Money Metals Exchange with our cool silver kit, the Silver Stacker Starter Kit. You can get started in your precious metal storage by using that link and getting a good discount on a decent silver kit. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I'm going to go hook this back up to the charger out there. Stay safe and stay prepared.